Okay, well, here I am again. Today, I'm up in a tree. This tree has meant a lot to me. I don't know what's in my hair, I'm pretty sure some pine needles. But, um, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, fly. Yes, bugs are back out. It's spring, finally. It's been a long freaking right wait. But, um, oh, I don't know if the sun, yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, well, deal with it. I think that'll do. <laughs> and I haven't been here since October, November. And my binoculars are still here. <laughs> As I get something else in my face. Okay, yeah, so this is my tree. It's about, I don't know, 70, 100 feet off the ground. I'm not sure. I wish you could drop something. There's a town, and there's the scenery. But, um, yeah, long story, been going through a divorce. Thank God, terrible person. I, if I told you. No, most of the stuff I haven't told people because um, I don't want to traumatize them. I went through it and I don't want to ever think about it, but so why would I put that in someone else's heads, you know? But when I go to court, I'll have to do that stuff. But um, yeah, when you get married, if you get married, whoever, be really careful who you marry. And be good enough with yourself that you're not marrying, that you have to. Sh you're not marrying someone that you have to change, or you feel you have to change. Accept them as is, because they're going to fuck up. They really will. And when they do, you'll have to rely on your own strength. And that's the lesson for today. Don't get into relationships to complete yourself. Get into the relationship to add to yourself, or stretch, or grow, or whatever. Because... No other imperfect person can make anything complete within yourself. It could just, you know, fill your heart more. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying, if you have to get married, be secure. There you go. Be secure financially and emotionally, because people let you down. Whether they want to or not, whether they mean to or not, they may have the best intentions in the world, but they, people have issues. Excuse me. <clears throat> people have big issues. But, um, it's nice to be back out in the forest. I feel at home, that's for sure. It's been a long time. I've had to scramble to make money and find a place to live and da-da-da. Because I have to go to court. Hello, ladybug. Can I see? I don't know if you can see him. I can't see anything. Yeah, there he is. Oh, it has no spots. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, the bastard left me with nothing, which is fine. I started out with nothing. We had a business and all this stuff. And honestly, money is not vital to survival, honestly. I mean, if you watch my videos, you would understand. I understand that. I could live in the forest and be happy. I could camp out. But, yeah, other things, you have to factor in other things. People care about you, they worry about you if you live in the forest. So, can't do that. I can vacation in the forest, but not live. Plus, I'm not insane. I don't know. Maybe one day I will be that insane, as if it's a goal, which, why not? I'll be somewhere warmer. I'm freaking sick of the cold. If anyone's heard of the weather in the Northeast, it sucks. I hate New York. I always have... Well, I hate the, the snow. Right now, it's freaking beautiful. It really is. A nice little breeze. Sun out. <sighs> if you understand how little sun we got over the past few months, you'd understand why the sun is so important. It's always important to me, anyway from Southern California. It's medicine. But, yeah. My next video will be... I have to get into the mindset for it. Um, about why I'm going through what I'm going through. All this bullshit. <laughs> um, there's a certain organization that had a hold of my life that I got free of, and that'll never happen again. 
and also um, working to let the world know. Because most people don't like this organization, but it's for the wrong reasons. It's just the lame reasons. Not the nitty gritty, behind doors, terrible, terrible ugh, um, issues they have. Now they, on the outside, they appear great. They appear, oh, we give to the town and we give people good values, but we, uh, when their children are molested by our people, we hide it. No, I'm not talking about the Catholics. I know they have the name, but <laughs> these people are too smart to be known for it wide like that yet. But that's what I'm going to do, expose the bastards, because they have my family. Yeah. And my family are blinded like many, many other people. And, but I'll get into that. Yeah. I need to eat something. I don't know if I'll be in the tree when I talk about it or not. Probably not. I need to focus on uh, not falling when I'm in the tree. Because I would probably break something. I wouldn't say I would die because there's too many things to grab onto on the way down. But it'd be awful fun. Sorry, not... <laughs> I don't even know. I feel like a freaking monkey. I'm not gonna jump, don't worry. Alright, until next time. Oh, there's sap everywhere.